to the workshop, I guess. I got a roll.
you need is an oil change. Terry. Where are you? Great workout, huh? I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. Hey, we'll get you in shape yet. What's the rush? Oh, I gotta run a couple of errands. Then Rick and I are going out. We're celebrating. Oh, really? Celebrating what? He finished a project. Oh, what project's that? I don't know. He doesn't tell me much about his work. He just tells me when we can celebrate. Oh, well, where are you going? Would you believe I talked him into the lava club? No way. Mr. Brain is going pump. Oh, it'll be a major victory if I can get him on the dance floor. Wow. You want to come? I'd love to, but I have a racquetball match. Thanks anyway. OK, got to ride. Good workout. And tomorrow, let's do that new routine we talked about. I can hardly wait. Today. I don't need to be hassled like us like that. Yeah, well, I know what you mean, but uh, I'll handle them. I'll lock them in the suntan booth or something. Long John? Yeah, I'm Long John. I need some turbo oil, 2040. Four quarts. Oh, oh yeah, 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 two quarts. Four! Oh, all right, all right. Don't get hostile. While you're back there, I need a 34 Makuni carb rebuild kit and a set of progressive fork springs. What are you riding, a rice burner? No, it's more like a cash burner. That cover will cost you $40, or I'll take that tattoo off your arm and your arm with it. That's it, $85. $85? Well, we could work out a discount. There's a hundred, don't keep the change. A hundred with a cigarette to change you. Eighty-five, fifteen. Mm -hmm. How much? 
Oh, 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 that's real English steel. Hand forged. How much? Um, twenty dollars. Fifteen. Sold. Got a ribbon? A what? I want a gift wrapped. Mm. Gift wrap. Cute. I need a receipt. Receipt. Oh, here's my pencil. Mm. Mm. Nice doing business with you. Bikes just ain't no good. You ought to buy American. Get away from my bike. Ooh, badass biker chick. <laughs> I said, get your butt off my bike. You're greasing up the upholstery. Hey, we didn't like that Jimmy yard. Fitz's girlfriend locked us in the steam room about melted our asses off. Freaked our hair out and made us look stupid. What was your excuse before you went in? Then he knew we were leaving, huh? <laughs> John's looking for you. We'll cut the traffic. <laughs> Since when do you let traffic slow you down? Got your oil. Great. What's that stuff? Very special paint. Looks like very normal silver to me. <laughs> they use this on stealth bombers to beat radar. But I jazzed it up some. You missed a spot. Hey. How'd it go today? Oh, so-so. I had a small glitch with the turbo impeller blades. You know how those little inner bearings can get you. Mm-hmm. But with my turbo modifications, we're talking 60 PSI or better. And with this nitrous oxide system, this thing is pushing out at 400 horses. But it's finished, right? Yeah. The cyclone's about ready for the road. I got a few screws. I got a torque here and there. An oil change. You know, you're much too sexy for an absent-minded professor. Mm. Is this okay? Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks. Good. Now you gotta get dressed, because we gotta get to the lava club and get a table. They really pack them in with that new band. We have to, like, shave our heads or something to get into this place? I listen to the Bach and the Beethoven. You can humor me. One night, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I got you a present to celebrate finishing the project. Amazing. Mm -hmm. This is a Whitworth one inch. This is hand forged in mm -hmm. Coventry. Where did <laughs> Who'd you have to kill to get this? Oh, sorry. It was an accident. <sighs> Thank you. This is great. It goes right into my collection. And when we get our new house, I'm gonna hang them all right on the living room wall. All right. <laughs> hey, listen, do we really have to go to this lava club tonight? You promised. I know. I know I did. And I'll go. But only if you say it. What? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Come on, say it. No! Just like I thought. Uh-uh. Come on. No. No. Say it. I'll even dance. You'll dance? I'll dance. Energy is not absorbed. Come on. Discontinuously. Yeah. Or 
continuously. Come on. <laughs> I want it all. But only in uh -huh. multiples Good. of direct and indivisible units. Oh, God, I love it when you fuck up Einstein. Is that the phone? Hello. Hello? <laughs> Look, I, I'm sorry you're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. Pay no attention to me, just go back to business. <laughs> What do you want? Well, then look in the yellow pages for your local dealer, pal. What was that, the guy from the agency hassling you again? You couldn't work any harder for him. No, it wasn't the project director. It's just some crazy guy who keeps calling me. What do you say? I don't know. Something about lay out a suit, forget about the shoes. I don't know. That's a funeral. Huh? When they buried my father, the funeral parlor told us not to bring shoes because you don't see the feet. No, no, no. It's just a crank call. I don't even own a suit. Don't worry about it. Mm. Hey, I thought you wanted to go dancing. Come on, go get dressed or undressed or put a bolt through your nose, whatever it is you have to do to get into this place. OK, well, we're late. So I don't want you working on that bike anymore. I will not work on that bike anymore. I mean it. I've heard that before. I will not. I mean it. OK. I won't.
boy. You see that guy? I saw him in med school. Yeah? Except he was in a jar. Stop it. <laughs> I tell you, this place is outstanding. You're about as much fun as an eggplant. Come on, let's dance. Dance up. Come on. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lieutenant Cutter, homicide. Are you up to answering questions? Yeah. Tell Doc I'll meet him at the corners. Um, when do I claim the... Dude, we're gonna need him for a couple of days. What happened here? I don't know. I don't know. They're in there. The government investigating a barroom fight. We're flat. Don't be, Lieutenant. We need to ask Miss Marshall some questions. I'm not done with her yet. Yes, you are. We'll take over from here. Take a number. LAPD was here first. What is this? Some kind of a game? Rick's dead! Miss Marshall, we understand how you feel. Normally, we wouldn't be questioning you so soon, but... Uh, this is a very special case. It involves Mr. Davenport's work. I don't give a damn about his work. Or your investigation. That's not a very productive attitude, Miss Marshall. 
Satisfied, Lieutenant. You better go with them, Miss Marshall. They appear to have complete jurisdiction here. This won't take long. Take my card. Now you can reach me through that number any time, day or night. We can talk out here. It's a little less distracting. I just want to go home. Okay, let's get to the bottom line. Rick worked for us, and he carried out his assignments beyond normal parameters. Oh, speak English. I was Rick's girlfriend. We had good times. That's all. Rick was involved in a very important military project. He kept the location of his lab a secret, even from us. So? He was afraid of security leaks? I don't know. We want you to take us to the lab. This is crazy. I don't know anything about a lab. Rick wasn't killed by a couple of whacked-out punks on PCP. Rick was killed because of this project. That's right. <sighs> you just met the other side. Were for the fact you're a very lucky girl, you could be lying on that floor with a nice pick in your brain, too. I don't know anything! If you're withholding information, you're risking federal prosecution. What? We don't want to arrest you. We just want to help you. Look, the people that killed Rick are going to be back to ask questions, too. And they're not going to be as polite as we are. So if I don't tell you what you want to know, you're going to let those guys come in? Cut my throat, is that it? Of course not. We want to protect you. You're our only concern, well, outside of the project, that is. Give us the project and the killers will lose interest in you. I can't give you what I don't have. Well, you can help us any way you can. And trust us. Believe it or not, we are your friends. Can we, uh, can we give you a lift home? I'll manage. What is it, 8.20? Uh, no, actually, it's closer to 3, according to my... I'm not talking about the time. I'm talking about the address. You did write it down. I got my half. 8.20. We're here? Great. Listen, I'll eat. You watch. I'll eat. You watch. The house. Oh.
Hello, Terry. Rick, help. Your handprint activated the computer. Hope I didn't frighten you. I know this is pretty strange, but if you're listening to this, I guess some pretty strange things have been happening around you already. I imagine you've probably been visited by some agency people who are plenty pissed off at me because they can't find the cyclone. It had to be that way. I can't trust normal channels. There's a leak in the agency, maybe more than one. Listen to me carefully. I need your help. I need you to contact a friend of mine. His name is Bob Jenkins. I've taped his phone number underneath the phone in the living room. He's the only one in the agency I can trust. He'll be sure and get the cyclone into the hands of the right people. You okay? I'm okay. Now, if you want to help me, punch the date we first met into the computer. That'll give you clearance, and the program will continue. But only if you want to, Terry. You can push the erase button if you don't think you can handle it. I wouldn't blame you for a millisecond. That's my girl. I'll take you through a cram course in the operation of the cyclone. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I think you can handle it. The cyclone has got everything. Armor plating, turbocharging, firepower equal to an F-16. By the way, watch out for a loose oil plug. Now, we're ready for the last and most important step. To your left on the shelf, you'll see a paint can. Inside is the final component. Who's gonna look there, right? It's called the transformer. It's the part of the cyclone. Got it, Rick. That little box can power a battleship all by itself, indefinitely. You're holding a source of inexhaustible fuel. The transformer sucks hydrogen out of the atmosphere and converts it to energy. The universe is filled with hydrogen. It's in the air, the ocean, space itself. It's everywhere. But what does that mean? No more dependence on fossil fuel. No nuclear pollution, just plain, pure, clean power. But the wrong people can't get a hold of the transformer. Trust Jenkins and no one else. On the bike, you'll find a blue button next to the nitrous oxide bottle. It'll open the engine compartment. Now, it's just like loading batteries into a flashlight. Slide the box in, push the button, and you're in business. If you have to remove the transformer, the bike will run on regular fuel, but only with the transformer in place will the cyclone's weapon system work. Okay, if you follow the directions on this tape, the cyclone is now operational. Get it over to Jenkins and get out of this mess I've gotten you into. I'm sorry, darling. Remember always, I love you.
Hello, Bob Jenkins. Rick Davenport told me to call you. I've um, got something he wanted you to have. Rick's dead. Listen, can you meet me in about an hour behind the old city hall? I know. Yeah. Yeah, there are two guys sitting out there. Listen, I'm gonna go out the back way, and that way, if they see me, they're not gonna be able to stop me. Yeah. What was that? Uh, loud noise. Loud? I know it was loud. What was it? Backfire, probably. Don't worry about it. That uh, sounds like some kid's ghetto blaster to me. What kind of neighborhood does this girl live in anyway? I don't know. Hey, I'll sleep. You watch. Some backfire. All right. Bob Jenkins? So this is Cyclone. Jesus. Five million bucks on a motorcycle. It's all yours. I don't know how to ride this thing. Besides, I have my car here. You can follow me to, uh, this address. Rick said that you could take... I can't use our regular agency drop spots, so we're gonna have to stash Cyclone here at this safe house in Panorama City until I can figure out how to get it to Washington. Okay.
drive. Well, good morning. Oh, good morning. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What does it look like I'm doing here? Delivering papers? Huh? Relief. Ah, <laughs> relief. You got it. Oh, what a good. smart guy. Oh, ah, too bad the uh, window was down. Yeah, come on. Oh. Yeah, except you see, there's only one little problem here. You don't need relief. You see, uh -huh, the door was open over there, the girl's gone, and the bike is gone. Gone? Yeah, gone, that's right. Where? When? While well, you guys were in Bye Bye Land. Now, let me ask you a little question. Listen, can't one of you stay awake? Well, I had a rough day the other yeah, day. Yeah, hey, listen, do you know something? Do you know what dead meat is? That's you. Yeah, and that's you, too. Because I'm going to report you right now. You guys have had it. Dead meat. That's not good, is it? No. That's what I thought. You've hurt me. Deeply. Very deeply. I treat you as my children. What do I receive in return? Failure. Well, the girl was just... No excuses. Excuses are more costly than you can afford. It won't happen again, Mr. Bersarian. No, it won't happen again. Because if it does, you'll be on the wrong end of that ice pick you carry. Now, get out of here and finish your job. No! This way. Please, the back way. I need a place to stay. Can't go home. Rick's been killed. Murder. <gasps> Jesus. Let me get you a drink. Here, get this down. Can you tell me what happened? It's crazy, though. Rick and I went to the lava club. Yeah, I don't know. We were just dancing. 
Not these two maniacs that came up and they, and they stabbed Rick. Then they tried to kill me. What I don't understand is, why would they want to kill you? Well, I'll show you. Come in. Ah, gentlemen, so good to see you again. Please have a seat. Our appointment was for precisely 12 noon. Yes, precisely. Sim Picard, 24 one quarter carat diamonds. I have a dozen of them for you at a very reasonable price. The Transformer. Perhaps you'd be interested in a boxcar full of Moore's rockets. Look, we're not interested in any substitutes. Five million dollars was paid for that Transformer. We expect you to honor that agreement. Well, you see, there's been a momentary uh, delay. Delay, Mr. Bossarian? Yes, some problem with the paperwork. Uh, you know, the bureaucracy. <laughs> when? This afternoon. Five o'clock, no later. It's guaranteed on my honor. I give you my word. Mr. Borsarian, do not disappoint us again. Oh, looks more like a battleship than a motorcycle. Can you really ride this thing? Rick taught me. So what are you going to do with it? Give it to the right people, I guess. Like Rick wanted. Wow, look at this. I'll look at what? This place. Right. It's spooky in here. What's that? What's this? A uh, present. With blood on it. Don't you think you ought to dust it for prints first? Uh, dust, I, I, I forgot. Give it to me. Take a look at this. What's that? Oh, that's something. Hey, you think this place is booby trapped? Oh, could have been. Yeah. Oh, oh. Good going. Uh. Will you kill the alarm? Huh? Kill the alarm! Right, right. Right. Is everybody asleep in here? You didn't tell me it was these two. I didn't. Okay, what happened? Uh, well, we were in the car and uh, vanished. I... Right, she vanished. The chances are the same thing may be happening to both of you, and soon. Noel's here. Proceed to seven fifty-five Magnolia, code thirteen. Received. What's code thirteen? It's classified. It's a new stay here and secure the building. You better uh, radio in for new backup. And you can send these idiots to the mail room. You heard him move it. Fresh. Where's the transformer? The transformer. Where is it? Terry, please. I bet she's a bleeder. <laughs> what transformer? <sighs> You 
You know damn well what I'm talking about. The gizmo that runs the motorcycle. I'd fill it up with unleaded. You're right. A bleeder. It'll be a real mess. Blood everywhere. A real mess. Last chance. You're a friend of the Gizmo. Please don't hurt her. Oh, that's nice. I like to hear a little begging. But it won't do you any good. I'll splatter her all over this room if you don't give me what I want. It's not here. It's in a safe place. I hid it. Please, tell them what they want to know. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what you want to know. On one condition, you, you let her go. All right. Talk. Here. It's in a locker. A Santa Monica bus terminal. Okay, I gave it to you. Let her go! I told you it'd work. She wouldn't let me die. Don't make him break your arm, honey. Wait a second. This is the key to her gym locker. I lied to save my best friend. So much for the subtle approach. Just let me. Good work, Carla. Really good. I can make her talk. I think you've done more than enough. But... Look, why don't you take a walk? See if you can get the cyclone started. He looks so surprised. You know, you could have walked out of all of this last night. I mean, you had the chance. You give up everything Rick lived for. He also died for it. You're going to die. Oh, I hardly think so. There's gas in it. It'll start. I suggest we continue this discussion at the warehouse. Things might be a little quieter. Ow! Among other things. Traitor. Don't be ridiculous. You sold out. Well, everybody has their price. We'll find out where yours is short. Don't bet on it. Oh, I'll bet on it, all right. Only this time I'll bet your life. I didn't expect you so soon. We were just starting. Introduce me to the beautiful lady. 
Terry Marshall. This is Mr. Bessarian. A pleasure. Chair. I'm told you have something I want. I have nothing for you. Don't reject my offer before you hear it. Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in cash. I get the transformer. You get the money. Just think you'll have all the money you want. You can go anywhere, do anything you want. I think we'll find a mutually satisfying arrangement. case we seem to be running out of time certain commitments have been made on my behalf very definite commitments failure to meet these commitments can be very costly therefore I insist you accept my final offer five hundred thousand dollars in cash six hundred thousand seven hundred and fifty thousand the words fuck you have any special meaning for you? Knowles, you're in charge now. You have exactly one hour to get the transformer from her any way you can. One hour. No excuses. Yes, sir. Within the hour. I don't like to watch this part. Goodbye, Miss Marshall. I'd like a word with you. Anna, guard the door. That was 20 amps. Want to try for 30? Got it in ya? Where would you like it this time? Up your ass. You're such a tease. for 40.
Don't be stupid. Just give me the transformer, and I'll see to it that they let you go. You're as plastic as your tits. Ah! Well, you don't look so good yourself, Terry. You know, you've aged. Pain has that effect. And you're sweating like a pig. Maybe you just need a little pick-me-up. Coffee hot enough? I don't care if you even tell me what I want to know or not. You'll pay. Well? Nothing yet. But soon. Huh, Terry? Called the search team at your house and couldn't find a damn thing. This was tough. Real tough. Any more of this and you'll fry. the hell with her. She won't talk, let her cook. Whatever you say. I'll handle the clips. Come on, sweetheart. It's your last chance. Where's the transformer? Bite my ass. Shit. Go ahead, give it to them. Thank God you're here. I never would have believed it. My pardon. What the hell are you talking about? Not another word. Nice little party we're having here. Sorry we have to leave so early. Can you walk? Thanks. Okay. Rest of you, we're leaving. You're not. First one out of this door is... Stand there like idiots. Go after her.
They're going to be right behind you. Where's the transformer? Get going. I'll buy you some time. Thanks.
Hello, this is Agent Waters. Connect me with the director, please. This is the director. Sir, the transformer's missing. Yes, I looked there, sir. It's definitely missing. Hello? Hello? Ah, gentlemen. Can I interest you in a very fast Ferrari? Hello. We've got a little trouble down here. Let me give you a lift, Terry. Come on, you can't walk alone forever. So free. 